That's it. But we're all here to learn anyway as we get into the next game. Krovac is going to be handling the rogue at this point. And uh, as I said, Nexuk on that aggro mage. And all the things you just said, again, further complicated just by you can't afford to take much face damage. If you hit the mage minions, the mage minions are hitting you. Yeah. Usually you don't mind, you're using your health as a resource. Your health is a very limited resource in this one. I don't think there's anything surprising in either of these two decks from memory. I must point out that it's Gadget San, not Sprint, but that's not surprising. It's just something we have to now say. Yeah, one Armani Berserker and one Pyroblast in the Mage for Indonesia. Uh, so that's becoming more and more just standard anyway. Uh, so no, nothing nothing too crazy. I'm not going to see like Book of Wonders or something. Since um, as Mana Worm disappears, since Sifka is no longer on this team, I think Prokovac is the... The most experienced member. Mm. He's not having a particularly great year, but he played in the first championships all the way back in the like, first European championships all the way back in 2016. Yeah. The first HCT European championships. Did I say Fairly though? Oh, Fairly's been around forever. That's a fair yeah. point, actually. Yeah. I met Fairly at like, Gfinity. Yeah. Years ago. <laughs> Literally I mean, years ago. Was still so. playing Hearthstone. I oh, know. Sort of cast that event. Yes, yes he, he did. definitely he did. definitely he cast that event. Definitely cast that event. Cast you ever heard I will say though, I think now that Sifka's not on the team, I I view it more as a team, yes. if that makes sense. I do. And that is not particularly a, a positive, negative thing. It's Krovac, be careful you drink, mate. Yep, that was awkward. We all saw it. It's on camera. <laughs> Wipe your mouth. Carry on. <laughs> but, oh no! It's like no, my keyboard. <laughs> um, but I view them as a squad, whereas I was always viewing like, okay, how much of this is not necessarily Sifka carrying, but more just is Sifka just wanting to control like, has a very in, dominating right? personality exactly. he, whereas he now charge. I view Czech Republic as a squad they're a team and they seem to be working together as a team we right? heard that with Pokrovac in the interview week one it's like now we can play sort of sensible decks it wasn't quite <laughs> the wording but that's what the, the undertone was a little sure. bit um, and it's, it's hard to play somebody else's decks it is, especially when they're weird. Yeah. yeah. But let's take a look at this, the prep. One of the ways that Miracle Rogue has been known to do silly things and come back into these games, and Mana Worm into the Arcanologist, but then with Kirin Tor Mage, Explosive Ruins, the Sorcerer's Apprentice, Cinderstorm, still the coin, there's still a lot left for Indonesia to get going, but now they have fallen behind ever so slightly. Yeah, and you don't want to fall behind slightly at all with this deck, both against Rogue or against anything, because that burn damage is huge, but it's pretty slow. Yeah, I think Nexo can just go for the current yeah. Mage, Explosive Ruins, and due to the nature of Czech have to, you know, pretend this is a counter spell in terms of their play, then if if the SI7 agent goes into the 4-3, and then the Ruins, you'd imagine, well, just does kill out any minion they yeah. play next turn, then that's the turn they can say, okay, Keysmith or Sorcerer's Apprentice Cinderstorm to face. I think this that's kind of flipping the board right back with this turn. I think Keysmith has been one of those cards that nobody still knows if it's any good or not. It, it goes in a lot of decks because it's I, good enough, and it sometimes twists games on their head beautifully. Yeah, I, I will travel back in time in my memory to the beginning of the expansion when Keysmith came out. And one of the first things I did was went to Radu and say, because, you know, he plays a lot of yep. Agro Mage, and was like, Keysmith's good, right? It's just has he finished secret. explaining it? No, not yet. It's their secret with with a body, so that feels good to me. Yeah. And he was like, it could be good, but I don't think so. Or don't think so at the moment. Yeah. And now I do feel slightly validated because I feel feel like it was good. And now Keysmith's just at least a one of in in almost every single mage deck, if yep. not two of most of the time. So I just see the value of it's only a two two, okay. but now you can make your opponent play a guessing game, which I think is very important. Yeah, and sometimes, not so much in, in this version of Mage, but sometimes you can really mess with them up by not taking the secret. Even if it's there, they're expecting right. They'll play around the one they're expecting. Yeah. You, you can just and, do something really weird. And what's good right now is, uh, I'm not sure we actually checked which one that which secret I that was. I think it was very quickly taken. I think it was Counterspell. Counterspell makes tons of sense. But the cool thing now is, look how bad this turn is for oh, Czech Republic. Mm -hmm. If they slay her, if they think it's counter spell, and it's not, they just take two damage and pass. Yeah. <laughs> right? You know, That's like, there you go. So and they did take the runes. Yeah. Right. If they sap, well, even if it is counter spell, they, they just do it again. So I think which is why they didn't take counter spell, because the answers from counter spell were not that great. So then you just go for the runes anyway to punish them, because that's what they presumed. Check and then you just pick counter spell and, and up and. This is. 
Look, Apprentice, look, Cinder Storm, Counterspell, guys. just do all this. Cinder Storm face, let's go. Coin into Cinder Storm face, 10 damage. That's a lot of damage. Four mana Pyroblast, haha. <laughs> People didn't like Cinder Storm when they first saw it. It's like, it's just a bad missiles, apparently. Yeah, I, th I think a, a lot of players, a lot of uh, people just thought, but it's one damage to random stuff. It's like, you're right, but what about if there's no stuff on the board? It's three yeah. mana deal five, like that's just solid. You play four mana deal six. So a lot of the times, it's the job done. Yeah, good luck, Strider. Got a lot of work to do. An impossible amount of work on Look at this. Say. This Keysmith now is just like pushed four damage without the secret. Right, it's attacked like, two times now. It's kept stuff off the board, it's, it's defended everything. It's only a little 2 2. But even little 2 2s can have a, a big impact. And it could be a little 2 0 to Indonesia in a minute. It really might be. And we might be. Imagine if we go for a double 3 0. That'd be every score on stream has been 3 0, right? Like yeah, and the one off stream. Yeah. So, Ooh. players stepping it up. That's disappointing. If you're Indonesian, I don't think it's well, gonna I, matter, I, I like the secret pick though, because again, you just play the game. What if it's ruins? And I, and we're near the point where Czech Republic can't I mean, do a lot about it if it's yeah, ruins. They, they, have, ping they, anyway. they have limited options, but still, you have to make your opponent play the guessing game. And and this is just a horrible hand from Czech Republic. Let's be honest. At this point right now, they could probably be pinged down. Uh, yeah, you know, yeah. Like, even without the fireball, they could probably be like, hit, hit, ping, let's go. Frozen clone. Gonna give them two gadgets ends if they want to draw some cards late game. But wait, there is no late game because of damage permanence against Rogue right now, which we discussed at the start. And this is why the matchup is good. Every point of damage you do is a one out of 30, right? You know, like, it, that's it. Some, it. There has to be a crazy Fox play that, that makes that not happen. And even that's impossible in certain, uh, in certain matchups, but Indonesia. Doing the impossible right now. Two and zero versus Czech Republic. If they clean sweep, Czech Republic. I, I just wish I picked Indonesia at this point. These guys are not messing around. Yeah, they tore through Norway last week as well. Right. Three one, I believe. I think it was three. I think the only one.